Hi, so I'm gonna teach you the piano song from The Giver, which uh, also has a sheet music which I created, you can find it in the description. But some of you asked for tutorials, so here it is, I hope it will have those three people, it's for you. I will play the first part and then we can discuss it. So the right hand uh, plays this main melody, which we will play a lot during this song. And, and for that we mainly use A minor, the simple chord, which is A, C and E. I'll repeat the video to see the whole melody and practice it. So in the first four bars the melody is alone in the right hand, then the left hand comes in with uh, this. an F major and A minor in, in this way and a D minor and I always play the note in the right hand after I finished playing the note the three notes in the left hand like this not like that <laughs> like this I hope you can hear that I, I think it's better I think it's nicer so let's continue It was a G major, G, B, D, and then we play this. So these are the, the quarters, and then we play and uh, while the last three notes are played by the left hand, we play an A in the right hand, like this. Then the left hand changes. Uh. And so on. So in the right hand we continue to play the melody, the same as before. And then, uh, while that is happening, um, the left hand will play four chords. We will always play, play these four chords under the melody, which is A minor, F major, C major, and G major, but we usually play B and C instead of B and D. So, let's see how we spread these chords. A minor will be A, A, C, F major will be F, A, C, C major will be C, G, C, and G major will be G, B, C, like that. And we will play it like this. As you can see, you have to play three notes in the left hand while you play two notes in the right hand, like this. And I noticed in other covers that it was a problem and they, they didn't play it properly, so if you don't have a problem with that, then you can skip this part, but I will try to help those who, who have a problem with that. So. So the thing is, we have this much time to play two notes with the, the right hand and three notes with the left hand. So this is the, the beginning of the first note and it goes like this and this is the end of the first note, then beginning, and and the same here, beginning, 
and it ends, begins, ends, ends. So, <clears throat> as you can see, this is uh, a third in this time. This is also a third, because these are thirds. And this, okay, it's, it's, it looks horrible, but... And this is two sixths. I don't know how to pronounce that sixth. So if we play these two hands together, the notes will be then, 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 and then. Which means it will sound like as if uh, it were a quarter note, two eighths, and a quarter note again. So, bum, 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 bum. Like this. In the, in the original song it will sound like this. Can you hear that? Tam -da -da -dum. It was there. So if you have a problem with that, you can play it very slowly and listen to the pam pam pam. I hope it will help you. So we are playing these four chords like this. And uh, and then comes the complication. We play discuss it. The left hand starts to go downwards like this. It was A minor, then we step on to G, but the A, C, U uh, stays there. Then when we play F in the right hand, then we play F, A, C, it's simply F major. Then while we play G, we step onto E, it's E, and uh, the A C stays there. Then we play one octave in the right hand, and we play D minor in the the left hand like this: D E D A D F A, and like this. Then we step onto G major. It's B in the right hand and uh, and this in the left hand. And it will sound like this. But we will need our left hand elsewhere. It needs to save the world. So yeah. Um, so we have to help with the right hand for, for doing, for playing uh, the G major, like this. So, the left hand started, but uh, when we play the third B, we play it with our right hand, like this. And then we play... After that, uh, in the next bar, we we don't play this anymore. We play B and C. And please repeat this part to see what I did here with the octave. The left hand uh, comes back here while we play an, an accented note in the right hand. And another adventure begins. So in the next part the right hand will play the melody again but in a way when the long notes are octaves except when they are not. So octave 
not octave, it's E and C, then D and B, and then just a simple A. And then we continue with a, an octave, octave, F, octave, G, octave, A, and then I will show you that later. So, in the left hand, it's mainly the same as always, but so there's these uh, four chords A minor, F major, C major, G major, but like this, 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 and this, we'll play that like this. Then, when the melody goes like this, so with that uh, F G thingy, then in the left hand we play so A minor, A minor with G under that. Then, while the right hand plays F, then just a simple. Simple F major, then while the right hand plays G, the left hand plays this. It's A minor, but with with E here, E E A C. Okay, so we'll play the next part, which is. D minor in the left hand, and we will start with uh, A, an octave with the right hand, and uh, the melody will be, which is A, F, E, D, C, B, and uh, we will spread the chords in the left hand like this. Then we will step onto E on the right hand, like this, and the melody will be in the left hand. We will play C major, which is this C, E, G, but with, uh, with an E there under the C major, so like that. We will step onto the uh, step onto F major, and in the right hand, hand we will start with uh, A. Which is going downwards one by one in order. It's simple in octave, and we will play. Major with the right, uh, that's left, left. Uh, so we will play F major, which is that F A C, but we will put the C there and we will put another F there, so it will be like this. Yeah, that's right, and then. We will step onto D with the right hand, like that, and the melody will be the the first note will be in octave, but uh, from the second there is no octave. So in the left hand we will play E minor, E G B, but with another G under that, so it will be like beautiful. Let's play together. Then we will step onto A in the right hand and we will play, which is simple again, just one by one we go down and 
In the left hand we will play the same as before, if F major with the same spreading or what do you call it. Um, now you can't see that because it's so low. Okay. So. So, in the right hand, with the fifth finger, yeah, uh, we will play whole notes and also uh, we will help the left hand create a beautiful thing. The left hand pl will play G, G and the right hand will play E and C. Meanwhile, that uh, whole note is there, it stays there. So, because that's the melody, then the, the whole note uh, steps onto another whole note, which is D. And uh, we will play G, G, D, B, D. Again. Well, you can repeat it in the video if you want to. Now let's move on. There's this big tension here. And then we are in the, the wedding scene in the movie. This will be a, a waltz the left hand first. Uh, I hope you can see that. Yeah. The A minor will be uh, A, A, C and it will, we will play that like this. Then uh, we will step onto F major. Like that. And then there is C major like this. Then there is G major. Yeah, in my version, I, I always play this A C again. So A C A C G C A C. So let's see the right hand slowly. It starts with a uh, quick A C, but it's it's not the the real first note. It's just a like a little bird singing, it's like this. The main first note will be A, there, there, there. And you can repeat this part of the video to see the, the notes. And now the next part. I will play it again. And then uh, the left hand changes. So in the next part, uh, the left hand will play the same four chords, but in a more, much more difficult way. A minor will be A, E, A, C, and uh, the other chords will be like this too, but just from the proper uh, notes. So, and we will spread the chords like this. not really easy. You can practice it uh, in different ways. I, I practiced it in a way where I doubled everything. So because you have to play it very very quickly and uh, 
you don't have enough time to think about the next step and the next chord and if you double everything like this then while you pay, play the second uh, stuff you can uh, think about the next step so like that but in, in the real song we just play everything once so uh, I will just play the whole thing with the right hand and the left hand together and I will play it slowly so, so you can see the notes the part which I, I wrote myself it wasn't in the movie it just uh, helps to lead back to the melody in the end so follow me so I will show you the whole thing first and so on so first the left hand it's F, an octave, and then the usual AC, which is always there. Then G, and B, and C, like this. Then F again. And G again. Which leads back to the beginning, the A which we will start the, the left hand for the melody. So, the right hand. C, B. I think we can start the melody at the end. Okay, so the right hand will be kind of the same as always. I will show that. So first let's see the left hand. See that? Uh, there it is. So, E minor, F major, C major, G major, E minor, F major, C major, G major. Why the right hand plays the same as always? Then, uh, so, just that. It's this, it's C major, like this. It's F major, like this. So we go up with the, uh, the left hand, like that. Meanwhile, in the right hand we have the the A with the little birds A C that thing going on, and uh, it will sound like this. So in the right hand, A G A C. It's different than before, so and 
that's it. Okay, I will repeat the end again uh, from the part which I wrote and then the then the ending.